What's going on guys, Series here, and today's video I'm bringing you guys a PS4 5.05 jailbreak tutorial. Now in this video I'm going to show you two different ways to jailbreak your PS4, although I'm going to go ahead and recommend the second one, and I'll tell you why when we get to it. But before we start the video, I want to go ahead and make sure that you're on the right firmware to be able to do this. So you need to go ahead and go into your system settings and go to system information and just make sure that you are on the 5.05 firmware. If you're not and you're lower, you can go ahead and update the firmware to 5.05. And if you are higher than it, you're going to need to wait for your firmware to be exploitable. Now, since we're already in the system settings, go ahead and go down to the automatic downloads and make sure that your settings look just like mine. You don't wanna have your PS4 automatically update while it's connected to the internet. So you wanna make sure that it's not going to even be allowed to. Now, the first method of jailbreaking your PS4 is actually really, really easy because all you have to do is go into your internet browser and type in the URL that I am typing in in the video. And basically all of the work is going to be done for you because the exploit is actually hosted on this web server so that you don't have to host it by yourself. But the issue with this exploit is that you're gonna have to go to this every time you reboot your PS4 and uh, there's a much easier method that I'm gonna show you in a minute. Now, you saw a second ago that I had an error message pop up and it pops up a couple times. That's okay, that's part of the exploit. And you're just gonna wanna wait until you get this little message right here. Just hit okay, and then you'll see you're all set. And once you have that, you're basically done. Your PS4 is temporarily jailbroken until you reboot. And you'll be able to do all of the PS4 playground stuff that you've seen in all the other videos. And it's really simple. So that's all you have to do. You can go down and see your debug settings, whatever. But before we go ahead and check out the debug settings, we're gonna wanna go ahead and show you the second method, which is the method that I personally use because there's a lot more that you will be able to do with it and it helps you keep your PS4 offline. Now, method two is going to require you to download the exploit host. I left the link in the description for you. Basically, just get the Windows version, and once you have the zip file, go ahead and extract it. It doesn't matter where you put it, just remember where it is, because you're going to need to run this every time you start your PS4. Once you have it extracted, go ahead and click the exploit, and it should open and give you an IP address. Go ahead and write this down. You're going to need it, and if you get this dialog, just go ahead and allow access. It's just your firewall trying to stop an unknown program. Once you have that IP address, you're also going to need to go ahead and run the command prompt so that you can run IP config. Now, the easiest way to do this is to hold the shift button and right click and then hit open command prompt here. Type in IP config slash all and go ahead and check the list. Look for default gateway IP address and subnet mask and write down all three of those values. The IP address should be the same as what you got in the other window. Now go ahead and go back to your PS4, go to network settings, set up internet connection, use whatever you normally use and hit custom, hit IP address settings, and then you're gonna wanna put an IP address that is the same as whatever your default gateway was that you got from your IP config, except change the last three digits to 154. Go ahead and set up the subnet mask and the default gateway to be whatever you got from your IP config. And make sure you set your primary DNS to whatever you got from the exploit host window. It's going to be the IP address of your PC, but it should also be the same in the exploit host window. Go ahead and hit next. Just use the default settings and you can go ahead and test your internet connection. Now, keep in mind that you're going to need to have your exploit host running on your PC in order to connect to the internet. You can also have issues connecting to the internet if your static IP was not set up correctly. And if that is the issue, go ahead and look up a static IP tutorial on the internet for the PS4. As you can see in this, I had an issue with the internet connection until I switched to the exploit host and once I had the exploit host running everything was fine with the exception of obviously PlayStation Network sign in 
but I was able to get the IP address, internet connection, and get the download and upload speed all working just fine. Now, before you do the exploit, you're gonna wanna restart your PS4 just to make sure that the internet browser doesn't have any problems because if the exploit has any problems when it's running, your PS4 is gonna crash and you're gonna have to restart it anyway. So it's better to just restart it now so that the exploit works just fine whenever it reboots. Now, once it reboots, go ahead and go to the settings and go to the user guide. This is where you're gonna go whenever you want to run the exploit from now on. And you go to the 5.05 Mira Hen exploit and you're gonna go ahead and let it run. It'll do everything that the website did, but it's gonna do it on your LAN so that you don't have to have any risk of connecting to Sony. Um, also, the DNS settings are basically going to prevent you from connecting to any of the Sony services so that you don't accidentally update or get banned or any of that. And as you can see, debug settings are exactly the same. Um, you're gonna be able to do everything you would be able to do on the other jailbreak but this is just a bit easier in my opinion and a bit safer. Now keep in mind guys, you're going to need to run the exploit every time you restart your PS4. So this makes it a little bit easier as long as you have the exploit running on your computer when you boot up your PS4. Now that's basically gonna be it for this video guys. If you enjoyed, leave a like and let me know in the comments section below what you wanna see next from the PS4 modding scene. I'll be working on some more videos soon once I have some more tools for the PS4 and I get a little bit more acquainted with it. I'll still be doing some of the PS3 stuff in the future as well, but hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.